Like most of the mountains in the Cascades, Mount St. Helens is still an active volcano, though it hasn't erupted in 400 years. But scientists say St. Helens will erupt again, only there's no way of knowing when. However, the strange series of earthquakes near the mountain could be an indication an eruption is near. The Mount St. Helens area has had three moderate earthquakes since last Thursday. Then, beginning yesterday morning, the area has been hit by small earthquakes every few minutes, and those earthquakes continue. The U.S. Geological Survey says this is very unusual for this part of the Cascades. The earthquakes have caused a second concern, avalanches. Already a number of small slides have hit the mountain. So far, no one has been hurt, but Forest Service officials are concerned. We would like to caution people from going into the area at the present time, particularly on the mountain itself. It was spring vacation uh, coming here in Washington this week. Why A lot of people are probably out, uh, mountain climbers and cross-country skiers and so on, and we would rather that they stay off of the mountain at this time. More snow fell on Mount St. Helens yesterday, adding to the avalanche danger. But today, a number of people continue to ski and sled on the mountain. While the Forest Service is warning the public about the danger, the U.S. Geological Survey is setting up stations on the mountain to monitor the ground movements. They hope to find an explanation for this unusual series of quakes. The U.S. Forest Service has never before closed Mount St. Helens to the general public. But right now, the avalanche danger here is high, and the Forest Service says if it gets any worse, or if it turns out there is, in fact, volcanic activity on the mountain, St. Helens will be closed immediately to the general public. At Mount St. Helens, this is Stan Wilson reporting. Channel 2 News. It has been more than 100 years since Mount St. Helens last erupted, but the mountain is still an active volcano, and it has been giving off steam for the past five years. The mountain has been hit by several moderate earthquakes since last week, and a series of minor quakes continue. Scientists believe there's a chance those quake mean an eruption is near. Early today, scientists set up monitoring equipment like this at three locations around the mountain. They say those small earthquakes are continuing at the unusual rate of nearly 40 per minute. The sensitive equipment, powered by automobile batteries, recorded two more quakes today. Sensors have been buried in the ground as scientists continue to study the data. The U.S. Forest Service is warning skiers to stay out of the area since the quakes have increased the danger of avalanches. There have already been a number of snow slides, but no injuries. If there is an eruption, it could threaten a number of small towns nearby, like Cougar, Washington, population 80. Some of the people here think the mountain will blow its top. Some of them don't. But not too many seem worried. Logger Jim Picker was one who felt the earthquakes. He wasn't setting a log on me at the time, so I knew <laughs> that it wasn't that. Yeah. Just and a, a uh, especially when the, when the guy that owns the place is up the road working in the back of his pickup, and he said it started shaking around, and the shop truck was sitting there, and the door started shaking on it. And so uh, he come running down there, and he says, I know it was an earthquake. And then I, when I put two and two together, well, I figured, well, it must have been, because I felt it too. So. There could be a small eruption, but I don't think it's going to do anything significant or lava flow like it did years and years ago. All of the publicity could have a positive effect on the town of Cougar, an increase in business for places like A&R Groceries. Yeah, it'll be great for business, which is really good. Uh, it's like I said, they usually start coming up on Friday anyway. We'll probably be loaded this week with people coming up. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, Mount St. Helens is the most explosive mountain in the continental United States. Scientists say they are virtually certain the mountain will erupt again. But even though these latest earthquakes may be a sign, they say there's no way of knowing for sure when that eruption will come. At Mount St. Helens in southwest Washington, this is Stan Wilson reporting for Channel 2 News. Scientists still don't know whether Mount St. Helens will erupt, but officials aren't taking any chances. While yesterday people were advised to stay out of the area, today they were ordered out. And a number of people who own cabins here aren't very happy about the roadblocks. Was there some change in uh, something to close it by? I mean, was there some reason other than they said, well, it's time we closed it? That's the only word I have. Uh, I have about $7,000 of the snowmobiles. In your office, when I left Longview, was I could go on up under my own cognizance as long as I'm under my own responsibility. It's another situation normal all screwed up. Meanwhile, the earthquakes continue, and some of the people here admit they're concerned. Have you felt any of the quakes so far? We felt one last night when I was in the cabin uh, when we were hauling out some things. Uh, we felt one shook fairly good. It wasn't real bad, but... Are you at all worried about the possibility of some sort of eruption? 
Yeah, well, that's, that's we're all we're somewhat here. worried with this, with that much activity. It's a known thing that this area have earthquakes, you know, regularly, but uh, we've never had that many all at one time and consistently. Today, one of the world's foremost experts on volcanoes, Don Molino, was called in from the U.S. Geological Survey Office in Denver. Molino was the author of a study in 1978 on Mount St. Helens. County, state, and federal agencies met in Vancouver today to try and analyze the data and draft emergency plans in case the mountain does erupt. Molino says the unusual string of earthquakes could be the first sign of volcanic activity. Earthquakes are the classic earliest warning. So when the earthquakes occur and increase in frequency and in magnitude, then that's got to be considered as the warning of a possible eruption. That doesn't mean at all that it will continue to an eruption to the surface. Heavy snow on the mountain today made it impossible for scientists to plant critical monitoring equipment. So the scientists will have to wait a few days longer for the clues that could help them solve the mystery of Mount St. Helens. From the mountain, this is Stan Wilson reporting, Channel 2 News.